I'm going to do a quick video about this lens because it's hard to find information about it. It's the Sigma 1000mm f8 APO. This is an older lens from I think the early 1990s. Here it is in its case. The big soft cap over the hood. Let me put it on um, a tripod and I'll get right back. Here's the lens on a tripod. It's pretty heavy. I think it weighs about 13 pounds, so you need a pretty solid rig to mount it. I've got it on um, an old Gitzo tripod with a Wimberly head and a Wimberly Arca plate. The hood is pretty deep. It's about 10 inches of hood. And then all together, it's about 30 inches long with the hood on it. This is the EOS version for Canon, so it doesn't have a manual aperture control. I've seen pictures of the Nikon version that does have the old style manual aperture control. It's got a 34 millimeter drop in filter. Minimum focusing distance is 15 meters. The minimum aperture is f22. You can rotate it on the mount to a vertical orientation. It's got strap lugs. If you want to put a strap on it and just throw the lens right over your shoulder, like a rifle, you can do that. So this uh, lens has been rechipped. So you can see with the aperture set beyond 5.6, you can shoot it, not get any of those errors. No problem shooting it. I've just got it pointed at some trees outside the window. The uh, minimum focusing distance at 15 meters, it's pretty far, it's 45 feet. I couldn't find anywhere in my house where I had a straight 45 feet of space to, to point it at. So I, I've tried it with the 2x tele extender. It does not work. It just gave me some errors if you're wondering about that. Um, the autofocus speed is wanting compared to modern lenses, probably probably pretty obvious. I think this lens is from the early 90s, so, um, you know, everybody's faster now than they were then. Um, but that said, manual focusing is not too bad. Images pop in and out of focus. It's got a pretty smoothly rotating, big rubber grippy ring there. And it, it's not too bad if you're not tracking forward and back too much. Um, it is quite an interesting lens if you happen upon it. You might get a good deal. Um, if you have any questions, drop me a line below and I'll see if I can answer. All right, thanks for watching. An EOS 1V film body reads this lens as having a map maximum aperture of 5.6. This body will control this lens at any aperture without any problem. But if you want to use this older Sigma lens with a current digital body, run into an issue. This is a 5D SR. This camera also reads this lens as having a maximum aperture of 5.6. And it will shoot it at 5.6 without a problem. But if you want to use a smaller aperture, you run into the error zero 01. The remedy for that error is to solder this tiny chip onto the lens's CPU. These are available from a couple different sellers on eBay. If you do a search for um, Sigma lens rechip on eBay and on the internet, you'll find a couple different vendors of these things. Here's the lens now with the new chip soldered onto the lens CPU. Uh, 
you can see that the lens is still being read by the body as having a max aperture of 5.6. But if we stop it down to 8 or 11, any aperture, shoots fine now without getting that error.